Hi, I'm Jean Bucknowski. I'm the director of the John James Audubon Center at Mill Grove. Mill Grove Estate, which is 175 acres located not very far from Valley Forge Park, was the very first home of artist naturalist John James Audubon. He was an uh, immigrant from France and only 18 when he arrived here, and yet the three years he would spend here would be incredibly important to his life. He would meet the woman, uh, uh, the woman he would love, Lucy Bakewell, who lived just uh, on the adjacent farm. In fact, there are rumors that they used to signal each other by candlelight uh, at night. Uh, she would become important because she would help to propel John to be being the world's best known wildlife artist. Uh, while he was here, he developed a technique for drawing birds from life. And, and even though the birds weren't alive, uh, he would take a freshly killed specimen and position it with wire into a lifelike pose. And this process that he developed would put him years ahead of other artists and make his art some of the most memorable bird art in the world. Mill Grove, which is again the first home in America of John James Audubon, is today a living, breathing sanctuary for birds. We have 175 acres that go along the Perky Omen Creek, uh, about a quarter mile south of the Schuylkill River. Uh, excuse me, quarter mile north of the Schuylkill River. Across the way, you might be able to see a bike trail, and that bike trail is now linked to Mill Grove, so you can do a five mile loop around Mill Grove and then get on the trail that goes all the way into Fairmont Park in Philadelphia. So this is a great addition to, uh, to the site. It gives people better access by bike. But in addition, we have five miles of walking trails, and these are the trails and the paths that Audubon actually walked when he was in these woods. We also have a very good environmental education program, one that integrates art and nature in some really amazing ways. And we, one of the tools we use for that, those efforts is a collection of non-releasable birds. And we're able to take raptors such as uh, uh, the um, kestrels and the uh, red-tailed hawk into classrooms where kids get an up-close experience with birds so that when they see them out in the wild they understand more about what they're seeing and how what they do at home could have an impact on them. We're now in the house at Mill Grove. This house was built in 1762 and it survived a long time and it was in between 1803 and 1806 that John James Audubon called it his home. Now while he developed a lot of his artistic technique here, it wasn't until later in life that he began to produce the images that he's most famous for. This museum houses the largest collection of, of Audubon art in the world. Um, and we, man we manage um, a significant collection for both Montgomery County as well as the National Audubon Society. We have great examples and some very unique examples of Audubon's work. Many people don't realize that what we call an original Audubon is in fact a, a print. And during that time, uh, early in the printing process, they were only able to print black ink. So Audubon painted the original watercolor then it was etched onto a copper plate. The copper plate was, paint, was uh, printed. And then artists would paint each of the prints uh, in much in an assembly line kind of format where one artist might work with all the, the uh, browns and then someone else with the greens. Uh, but this ended up producing uh, what was the largest book published in the 19th century. And the reason that the book was so large is that every picture of a bird that Audubon painted was life-size. So you got a sense of what this bird looked like uh, in actual size, but more importantly, you often saw it in a background or on a tree or doing something that that bird natu did naturally. And this was really a, a, something different for people of that time. They weren't used to looking at nature for, for its beauty and for its importance to them. And though Audubon was not a conservationist, the word hadn't been invented, even by his death, he began to recognize the impact that man was having on the environment. 
And he warned against continuing to, to go into the West and the wilderness and, and the devastation that we would end up having. There are eight birds that Audubon painted that are now become essentially modern dinosaurs. They are extinct. So I think what he was thinking about uh, is a good lesson for us all to think about now. The John James Audubon Center is a public institution and open for your visits every Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 4 p.m. and every Sunday from 1 to 4 p.m. We are closed on Mondays and major holidays, but the grounds are open year round. Uh, we hope that you'll come and visit us uh, and take some time up into our drawing room where you can actually sit and hey, you've got some great subjects and try, try your hand at becoming uh, a protege of John James Audubon.